so this is Megan's recent acquisition. <laughs> How, how mm -hmm. many inches is that? <laughs> I know it's 23 books. I don't know how many inches. <laughs> um, and it only cost 50 cents. I only had to buy that book. Nice. And then these are the ones you read recently. Oh, yeah. Which is a pretty impressive pile, if That's I like say so. That's April through now. Alright, first and foremost. I love this so much. It has changed me. And now all I want to do is read sci-fi despite being in a fantasy mood. It's a problem. It's a good problem. Oh, it's a great problem. Oh, we already know my thoughts on these. Oh, you already finished the second one? Yeah. Love them. They're great. <laughs> Fantabulous. This is one I took notes on. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be biased. And it reads like a screenplay. Oh, my. I'll probably never reread it, but I'm going to keep it because I love the author so much. That's also a problem. These two. I'm just like, I, I got, like, oh, oh, oh. I still need to read the third book and actually get the fourth book. This is the new favorite book of all time that I'm going to sell, spit you on later. You will eventually be like, oh, I gotta buy it. And this is the, like, current long fantasy series I'm reading that's, like, kind of, like, it's not trying to win any literary award. And it's super problematic at times, but boy, is it enjoyable. <laughs> if you ignore the useless, like, love triangle. That doesn't even matter. Slight spoiler, because someone else comes along, and that's like the end game and all. I've already been spoiled for it, so just like useless. <laughs> so this was just my review <laughs> of the series, because it is a book series. But she randomly is like, "Hey, there's gonna be a fourth book after years." So I gotta catch up, and I need answers. I need them. She only needs the answers. <laughs> I will die with them. Did you hear that, authors? First book in that trilogy I'm currently reading. Also, in a wider universe of books, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> this is just becoming a precarious pile. <laughs> Megan's amazing, okay? Look at this. She tabbed. <laughs> Um, I need so to know what the colors mean. Light purple is like character introductions or like important information about said character, such as like character development, because we love that. Mm -hmm. If your character doesn't develop, did it even happen? Dark purple is like, this is a major plot point that just happened, like a character death or, you know, anything else big in the plot. Um, blue is world building, because it's high fantasy. That's very important. Do it right, please. Green <laughs> is foreshadowing, or I think it's going to be important later, so possible foreshadowing, I guess, then. Or mm -hmm. just, like, a fact. Or, like, something that's, like, kind of seems plants over now, but, like, may come into play later. That's a lot of guesswork. Yellow is just, like, man, that was beautifully written. Or, wow, impactful. <laughs> or, gee, I love that quote. And then pink is, like, heartwarming moments like between characters or like if a relationship platonic or otherwise is building or like something that like is gonna break that relationship and then orange is just funny and surprisingly an adult high fantasy book made me laugh quite a bit i also have a very dry sense of humor so and also it's just like the weirdest things will make me laugh like on tv shows if like people zoom in really quickly it gets me every time even if it's like on a dead body, which is just sad, but I'll be cackling. Wait, gotta see the book. It's gorgeous. It has dragons. Could you go wrong? Nothing is wrong if there's a dragon could, in it. Could you go wrong? Well, with that being said, Aragon the movie was an atrocity. Could <laughs> I say more? No. Man, I love Bucky Barnes, but boy, did this suck. Am I going to keep it because it has Bucky Barnes in it? Yes. <laughs> Am I ever going to maybe read again? Maybe like 10 years from now when I finally feel like, you know what? Maybe you'll finally understand that plot. 40 and forget how bad this was. Despite its beautiful artwork. Which was also a poor decision because then when they started going to like different universes, they did this like really crappy artwork in comparison to the really gorgeous artwork. And I was like... Oh. That's getting rather precarious. <laughs>
I could literally give you the entire plot summary because of, like, I could tell you detail for detail exactly what happens in this because of how much I loved it. Like, my friend FaceTimed me to dye her hair one day, like, the day after I finished it, and I gave it to her in detail for detail <laughs> exactly what happened in it. It is amazing. <laughs> there should be trigger warnings though because there are some messed up things that happen and like some things where we're like wow you, you chose to draw that that's um bold move but could be triggering but i love it so much however i'm also biased because of my love for the joker in general and this is the one where he's the good guy so i know plot twist dun 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 we love good flip to the first level story. And finally, the OG. Origin story of the Joker. Well, not origin story, it's more like just Joker going off for a bit and people being like, yeah, no, he, he yeah, that, he's insane. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Definitely something wrong there. That, that's essentially the whole story. It's like literally it's like 50 pages maybe. 50 pages of, hmm. Just the joke <laughs> absolutely crazy and everyone going, I, I see he's trying to make a point here, but like, he's not realizing it's not sticking. So there. Well, I'm impressed, Megan. Everyone should applaud the amount of books she read in a very short time. I'm very worried about this pile. <laughs> what have I done? Let's play Jenga. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Things will go horribly wrong. Okay. Don't worry, we will okay. protect your books like they are precious angels, which they are. <laughs> Megan's okay. giving me a sales pitch on Vicious. My V.E. Schwab. Victoria Schwab. Okay. So, essentially, I've, I've given you, like, this before, but I'm really trying to drill it into you, because, like, I need someone, anyone, to read this and love it the way I do. <laughs> Or just read it in general so I can gush about it, even if you despise it. Please. Let's see here. Okay. So Victor and Eli, both in college, both in their final year, both are science majors. I can't remember their majors exactly. And they both have to do, like, a final thesis. And they have, like, a full-on class just to spend the time, like, looking into it. And the beginning, like, it's going between two timelines. The first timeline being when they're in college looking into said thesi, theses? Thesis? I have no idea. <laughs> Their individual thesis. <laughs> and a second timeline where one Victor is just getting out of prison, like just escaped prison, is like, I want revenge on Eli. So you're like, why? What went wrong? You're such good acquaintances who live together in this book. And so essentially the thesis that Eli chooses to look into is do EOs, extraordinaries, people with powers, exist? And he learns that, in fact, they do. But the caveat is they need to have a very near-death experience. Like, they need to be declared dead, want to fight to come back and be brought back in order to have said powers. And through the book, it changes from the thesis being like, oh, they exist, to, oh, here's how you can, like, cross-reference data from like websites and like records to pinpoint who is a possible extraordinary into here's how you can hunt them down and also mm. here's how you can become one like they act like it's oh please read it please it's, it technically has a sequel but it was written like originally as a standalone and was a standalone for a few years and i believe it ends perfectly <laughs> Despite me also wanting to buy this and read it. Because I love them so much. Someone buy Megan the Victor. second. She, she's she's going to die. <laughs> so much. He's, oh, he's a horrible human being at times, but man do I love the guy. It's a problem. If you could rate this book, would it be 10 out of 10? 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Yeah. Easily. I can't find one thing wrong with it. Definitely. Please read it. Please. <laughs> I have a problem parting with my books. It's nothing against you. It's my own. I think she approves. Luna approves. 